Did you know the state of South Australia is bigger than Texas? SA's vast outback is a region of rugged beauty, charisma and world-renowned gems. Hi, I'm Amber. Welcome to my town, Roxby Downs. There's a lot of space out here, which is just as well because it's home to epic and diverse landscapes, sizable schnitties, a huge mine and a big beautiful night sky with stars like you've never seen before. I'm an art teacher and an autism inclusion teacher here at Roxby Downs Area School, home to around 520 students. So my students call me Archdale. I like making things fun for the kids. <laughs> I wanted to be an art teacher since I was eight years old. One of the most immediate things that I noticed when I started teaching here is that you tend to lean towards a much more individualised approach because being a mining town, a lot of students are heading towards the mine, which is more trades based. So we tend to cater things towards their interest. For a desert school, there's plenty of green grass, plus tech, art and music. Yakety Wiltshire is our new wellbeing space for both students and teachers. I came to Roxby at the very beginning of 2020. The second I started working and I met people, it was amazing. I had this community that I'd never had in the city. Situated around 500 k's north of Adelaide, Roxby Downs was purpose-built back in the late 80s to service BHP's neighbouring mine. It's a transient place with a population of roughly 4,000 people. The median age here is 30, so it's a pretty young town. There's lots of fly-in, fly-out families. <laughs> um, yeah, which is definitely unique. Roxby has all the usual services and facilities, plus a community cafe, art gallery, library, pool, and splash pad, which is insane in the summer. I'm also involved with a community radio station. Rox FM is proudly local, live and loving it. Shout out to all of the teachers across South Australia working in regional schools. One of my favourite things to do is to visit the quirky desert hub of Andamooka. When you come into town, you wonder if there's anyone actually living there. It looks a bit like a ghost town, but it's just teeming with life under the surface. Come night time, the observatory is the place to be for the best view of the stars. My mate Dave, a fellow school teacher and astronomy guru, loves to educate visitors. And if you think you've seen twinkly skies before, prepare to be amazed. In the city, you look up and you see, you might see the Southern Cross, you might see one or two other stars, but out here you can just see them all. It's just the best thing. So let me show you how it works. So I have my phone and a selfie stick and an app and it takes some amazing pictures and every time I, I get a new one that just looks different or it's got more stars and I get more and more excited. Here you're not only encouraged to look up at the stars, but also down at your feet for a bit of opal noodling. Ultraviolet torches help wannabe prospectors like us to look for opals with their fluorescent glow giving them away in the dirt. Basically, <laughs> I'm a millionaire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another special place to discover is Arid Recovery. An exclusion fence protects the reserve from feral animals, so near extinct and endangered species can be reintroduced and given a new opportunity to thrive. Today, Kath is releasing a large male bilby, but not before we take a few important measurements. That'll do. He's so soft. All right, we can go release this one now. Good luck, buddy. How amazing is the landscape out here? Today we're headed out to Chimney Hole Dam with my best mate Douglas. This ever-changing landscape can be completely dry or full of water depending on the season. It's a popular spot with the local wildlife too. One of my favourite things to do on the weekends or on the holidays is to come camping out bush. It's so peaceful, It's you just have stars, the, the landscape, it's amazing. After a camp cook-up, there's nothing better than sitting back and taking it all in. Sometimes when inspiration strikes, I get the pencils out for a spot of sketching. The first year I was here that we had a massive field of Sturt Desert Peas pop up. It was the biggest that they'd seen in 10 years and it's the first time I'd ever seen Sturt Desert Peas. It's a great sense of satisfaction. I have always go home and still want to be a teacher the next morning. There's a saying in Roxby is you, you come for a year and you stay for 10 and if you don't have a plan then you're probably going to be here forever. <laughs> 
Thursday nights is Teachers Tav Night, so most of the staff descend on the Tav and we get $15 schnitzels. There's always something going on, so you know, one week there might be a quiz night at the Tav and then this weekend we've got Dirt Circuit, which I love going to because half of my students race. Roxby was offering permanent positions and so I moved out here for permanency and for job security. I stay for the peace, I stay for the stars. I've stayed because I've found a community that I, I love. The Outback holds a special place in my heart and for me right now there is nowhere else in the world that I'd rather be.